So I'm going to go ahead and start the reading now, guys. So I've already been getting some messages, by the way, for the collective. So as you guys know, there's a full moon coming up on the 24th in Virgo. And there's a lot popping up about your health because Virgo is the sign of your health, your gut, your stomach. It rules the sixth house, which is also the house of service. So you might be seeing where you need to heal in those areas of your life, like how you serve. It's also the house of organization as well. So how are you organizing your life? And for me, this is a really big one right now because um, I just started working two jobs. I'm trying to do YouTube events and I'm working on a new business idea. Like I have a lot on my plate right now. It's all about balance. So let's see what the guys have to say. And by the way, guys, that your guys, are, my guys have already been in my ear since prep. Like I had to use a restroom really quick and they, they do like this little blowy thing in my ear. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. Like you guys really need this message. So thank you to everyone who joined and that you were waiting for me or if you just joined or if you're gonna join later, I really appreciate that. You know, I I didn't really think that many people <laughs> are going to join because the last few readings that I did, I didn't really get too many people. And, and no, I don't, but it's okay. It's I don't think too many people are familiar with it, but hopefully with this recording, people can go back and get a better understanding of what tarot or an oracle is because I'm not only just reading tarot, I have my oracle cards, but as I said in the event details, this is about channeling so it's going to be more picking a topic from spirit and then kind of letting spirit just channel through me like whatever information that like the collective needs at the moment so i'm gonna go ahead and call in my guides here guys and the highest beings of love and light that can assist me in this reading for clear and accurate messages please thank you i already cleansed my cards by the way with paulo santo I always do that, and I always do a little meditation beforehand and have my crystals out as well. And I'm not sure if you guys can hear, but I have a, a little bit of, like, sound bowl music in the background. Okay, let's see. And just for this event, I am not showing my cards, because last time I sat up, it got more chaotic and confusing. But maybe next time, I can definitely record my cards. But you can just sit back, relax, you guys, and just get like some tea, a little snack, you can do your laundry, you know, just chill and let's see what spirit has to say for you guys. Right. And this can also apply to you if you're re if you're watching the replay. So I did just get some cards that like just <laughs> Okay, they're telling me to take them all. Take them all. Take them all. That's what they say. Okay, you got forgiveness, the writhing, change, and illumination. So I'm not going to read from the booklet because these cards are pretty like self-explanatory. And leadership on the bottom of the deck. Okay, now I'm going to pull a couple from my angel tarot deck. So in like what I noticed in like most of these cards, um, I'll take a picture and add it to the replay video for you guys. It's not going to be like a video of my hands, but it's just going to be like add it like to the screen. Okay, so for some of you guys like... Full moons always bring up like a sense of purging, a sense of like heightened emotion. So if you're one of those people that are like having memories from your past or you're feeling some more heavier emotions come up, it's because you still need to release that and you need to forgive yourself for that, forgive your emotions. And this can go really deep and it can be a very scary thing when a situation that's coming up from your past that was pretty traumatic. Like this doesn't have to be recently this can be from even your childhood i believe that all timelines and well it is the truth all timelines and dimensions and realms they basically like overlap into each other they all kind of like mirror into each other so around this time this year like right now in this moment in february you could be experiencing something that you experienced you know a couple februarys ago a couple years ago around this time or even another lifetime around this time and it's definitely linked to change change freedom and also illumination so illumination for me is basically what is in the dark is coming to the light that's all that this is about for me and you know the full moon is a hundred percent illuminated it's a hundred percent full even when the moon isn't full the moon is still on the sky but this time it's full so now 
things are being illuminated for you. A light is being shined on the things that you really need to look at. Maybe the way that you change, the way that you operate change. You know, I'm, I'm really picking up for some of you. Change is a very challenging thing for you. And I feel like it's because there's something that you need to forgive. Like you, maybe you've had to move around a lot or you've had a, a rough start to your childhood where, you know, for some of those kids that have like, maybe this applies to one of you. If you have like a military family and you have to move around the country a lot, you know, when it's like out of your control, you're just a child. You don't really have control over, you know, where you're moving. And that can be a traumatic experience. Actually, it's not fun because from a child's perspective, it creates a lot of instability in your life. And there's really not much you can do. And also just having a parent that is in that field, in that career, the military is also very worrisome. So yeah, I'm really picking up like your, your parents are popping up in this. And I also just uploaded a YouTube video um, about this a little bit, like your childhood. So parents a little bit and just kind of like the darkness that we've experienced like in our lives and how you have overcame that like these things are there for you to become stronger they're not here to really limit you so once you understand that everything is happening for you not to you and if you are in the spiritual community you probably hear that a lot i know that i hear that a lot but it is really honestly the truth and about the cards thriving here oh like guys like this is this is like such beautiful energy in this card like such beautiful energy in this card this is a full moon so like for those of you that have been doing the work, you've been putting in the work, you've been forgiving people, you've been embracing change. Let's say there's been an obstacle thrown your way. You're like, okay, well, that's not working and spirits offering me an opportunity to go this way. I'm going to take the opportunity with gratitude and love and I'm going to go that way. You're going to really be thriving. But either way for everyone here, everyone watching this, the replay of you're here right now. There's going to be some sort of illumination here. I'm going to pull some cards. Okay, so the illumination is around relief. And this really goes hand in hand with the forgiveness card. It says the end of a phase or a situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. And this is big full moon energy. I knew the full moon was going to come out in this. And the archangel for this card is Archangel Azriel. So if you want to look into that, maybe work with that archangel, that would be really good for you to help you with this relief. You also got queen of fire, confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. Ooh, okay. And the funny thing, I'm going to take a picture of this spread, you know, and um, like upload it, edit it into the video for the replay. So you guys can like see this like really cool alignment that's happening with these cards because it, it literally matches the card like right underneath it so for those of you that have been experiencing lots of changes i'm almost getting like you're finding your wings again you're feeling free and there's a there's like a little horse with like a hot balloon on the horse's back like flying in the sky and then right underneath that is the queen of fire stretch your wings and fly so some of you are really finding your wings at this time what has once limits you in the past is not limit limiting you anymore because you completed that cycle. There is a big energy of a completion of a cycle here, especially with the full moon. The full moon is all about reaping your rewards for this past moon cycle that you've been through. So from usually the new moon start to the full moon, which is like about two weeks. So you're really going to be seeing how much you have grown and how much you have evolved since two weeks ago. And it doesn't even have to be from this full moon. It can apply to the either last full moon that we have, which was about four weeks ago, or even the last full moon in Virgo, which was, of course, last year around this time. So it's a matter of fact of like, you know, however, which way you want to look at that. Okay, so then I'm going to pull for thriving. There's like this energy of really like knowing that your abundance is coming in, knowing that your manifestation is coming in, that knowing, that trust in yourself and your divine, you believing in yourself, believing in your path is like, I'm hearing that's the golden light for you through this darkness. Oh my goodness. Like you guys know how the moon is like literally the, like when it's full moon, it's like the brightest thing in the night sky. That is what I'm seeing you are. Like you guys are shining so fully and so bright in the, in the night sky right now. And this is inspiring so many individuals. Like, I don't even think some of y'all really realize how much of an inspiration you are for people. 
like your energy really rubs off on people and even for the newer people here you know that just join and and even if you have a little bit of self-doubt about your abilities and even if you're one of those people that are still learning about yourself you're still in that rich energy that is still in that rich spiritual energy like please give yourself props and and be proud of yourself and i don't really do this enough i mean i see cash is here hey cash he tells me all the time he's like Leah, like you're proud of yourself i'm like oh, okay i forgot <laughs> like because it's just like i'm on the move and i'm just like kind of so used to being like in this like hustle mode or like deeply inspective observing mode where i'm like shifting and transforming you know but i've been trying to make a conscious effort to pause like okay like looking back at where i came from how far i've been and like okay now i'm here now i grew and now i can take a deep breath you know and just like relax and really appreciate where i've been at and if you've been like okay so first came up forgiveness so once you kind of deal with that a little bit if you still need to if anything comes up you're gonna be thriving because forgiveness isn't for the other person and it's not to say I forgive just to forgive. It's truly for you to let go so that situation doesn't have a hold on you anymore. It's for you to release the weight and say, I understand why this happened to me. It was for my healing, for my growth. There was a pattern there. There was a wound there that I that I need to work on. And it's not really about pointing fingers because when we point fingers towards people, it's usually we're do when we're doing that we're giving our power away it's about having that deep inner knowing and that wisdom that it wasn't really all your fault because you know don't fall into blaming yourself it's never that and it's not really either about blaming the other person even if they don't take accountability and responsibility for what they did you just being aware and wise enough to know that that was happening for you not to you is enough for you to move on and it might take a little bit of time to really see that but make it a practice to say i forgive you or at least be in that energy of loosening up that resentment or loosening up you know that anger that fire that um it's almost like a hatred like i i I know hate is a big strong thing but it's like that strong dislike where it's like it makes you kind of sour makes you make a face it's about relaxing and softening to that and knowing that that person is just on their path just as you were on your path to some degree you had a soul contract and they are just another form of you they're another soul they're another human they're they're another being they're another point of consciousness so being in that awareness really helps me to forgive people so hopefully maybe that can help some of you that are struggling to forgive someone and it's not about saying i want that to happen to me again no it's about you moving on from that and and not letting it limit you for a better opportunity in the future like for some of you what's coming up for me right now is um if you if someone betrayed you like a a lot of us here you know what betrayal feels like you love someone and you had someone that loved you and they (laughs) just read cash is calling like you kind of like let that kind of hurt you and guys this stuff goes back to lifetimes i am not joking like usually those people that you meet and you have those really heavy connections with usually you have a past life with and you're here to meet again to close that cycle out it's not the end it's really not the end it's for you to really see what you're worth for you to see what you deserve that's why it didn't feel right when you were with that person that's why it didn't feel right when you were in that situation because it wasn't it wasn't meant for you it was meant to show you that you were that you were here for bigger better things you know and let's see what else we got out here we got night of air right under forgiveness intelligent decisive idealistic tireless events that occur with great speed take time to carefully review your options creative solutions okay so a message that i'm getting here okay so first so for some of you most of this is like mental energy because not of air is like air energy so you're having memories or you're like you're having like unprocessed emotions and memories pop up at this time and with the knight of air he's holding a sword this is about cutting cords so this is a great time for those of you that still feel like there's a cord you need to cut maybe within an ex or it doesn't even have to be with a person it can be with the situation and energy for example self-doubt you can cut the cord with self-doubt 
and you can ask Archangel Michael to come through, or you can just go into meditation and visualize the sword. There's there's lots of guided meditations on YouTube for this. Um, but I was planning on doing a cord cutting meditation a while ago for the server. So if you guys want me to do that, you can definitely like request that if that's something you want me to do. Um, but yeah, it's just about cutting that cord, visualizing it, and, and visualizing it dissolving and breaking away. And then once that cord is broken, you think it. You say, thank you, I forgive you, I release you, I love you. And you can just repeat that. And let me tell you guys, it's going to bring some tears most of the time. Or even what I like to do when I'm forgiving situations like this, I like to call for that person's astral body, their higher self, and imagine white light around us and the angels around us, and I'll give that person a hug. And do not doubt the power of that. Like, especially if this is someone you struggle to be intimate with or to be completely open with, that is a safe space to heal that wound, especially if these are people that are in your family that you have that blood connection with. Because even though we're born into these families, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're safe people for us. And that can create a lot of wounding when we're trying to connect with other people in the future. It can prevent us from having those real deep fulfilling intimate connections and like for me I know I kind of struggled with that with my family and then I came into the server and I found my soul family and it really helped me like believe and loving pure connections again like I'm like wow like this is like what I've been looking for and wanting my whole life but I never had saved people and like aware people to share that with and I love you too Robbie <laughs> yes sharing love spreading love is so so important but cut those cords guys like the angels are here to assist you the full moon is a perfect perfect time yeah angel the bath Ooh, the bath is great 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 like taking spiritual baths around the full moon is so so healing a salt bag you could put some herbs in there i always like to put some herbs in there maybe some rose petals some rosemary some pine needles maybe a, like some rosemary um essential oil lavender oil don't put too much you know be careful um, and you do have to clean your bath out <laughs> but it's a great time to just relax and water is so cleansing herbs oils essential oils candles like do the whole thing do the whole thing have a little self-care moment and also what's really powerful in the bath too is sound baths like if you're playing like killing frequencies stuff like that oh because that vibration will carry through the water and then it's going to in your body's like 80 percent water or something like that so it's going to how i say like it's gonna like restructure in a way like your water cells <laughs> that i'm not sure making sense but you understand what i'm saying like it's it's we all know that water and vibration affects the human body because we're vibration beings energy beings made out of water so that that whole connection the shifts that are gonna happen is amazing also something i want to add if you're taking spiritual baths massage this is something that i learned from like this mentor that i have and he mentioned like sound baths in the bathtub massage because trauma get stored in your muscles trauma gets stored in your bones and especially for anyone here who has experienced any um sexual abuse or trauma my heart is really with you i really love you guys like that is some heavy stuff so working on your sacral chakra and um area like your hips area massaging your hips um your inner thighs with love and let me tell you you will get a little tense i know that i struggle with really tight hips um, so yoga is like a must for me. So doing a little bit of massaging there is really going to help like dig in there, dig in there. Like trauma can also get stored into your, into your teeth too, like massaging your jaw, your bones. And also something that I've learned, <laughs> yes, dig in there. Something that I learned too was that people can like really trigger your trauma. So like your, your fam is big on this and you might notice this whenever you come around someone that you've had like a really like intense relationship with, like you can be fine. Like you can be fun and then you energetically align with this person or let's say you come across it, you kind of feel like a shock in your body. Like you kind of jump. Ooh, it's cause there's some, there's something to dig in there. There's something to, to release in there. Like, you know, cause their trauma, their, um, like you guys are kind of like matching on some vibrational level. This can even be past life stuff or there's still some, 
things that you need to release in your system. But I highly recommend setting boundaries and limiting your time with these people. It's a nice opportunity to heal more when you're in the presence of these people and you can see where it's still affecting you. So it's, it's almost like they trigger that trauma in you. And that's like why if some of you guys are distant with certain family members and let's say like the family reunion comes around like Thanksgiving and you see this family member and you're like, oh, this is my nanny. This is my granny. You know, this is Susan. I know what Susan did, you know, and then, <laughs> and then you kind of feel that, uh, you kind of feel that, oh, uh, a little bit. And that's because she's, she's activating it. They're, they're active. <laughs> you guys are making me laugh. They're activating that. So that's a great time to go into the bathroom, take a deep breath, say some affirmations in the mirror, say, I'm safe. I'm good. And you don't, don't even hold yourself back. You know, when Susan leaves, punch a pillow, go on a run, journal some, do some some breath work shout out to uh ski uh hook him up for the breath work you know get on that <laughs> Ooh, okay okay that's funny so right underneath the giraffes are thriving okay i got some good news for you guys i've been stepping into your leadership ability okay i almost feel like i need to whisper for this i don't know why i feel like i need to whisper for this oh uh, let, let's see what's coming in because i have to pull more cards for this but well, you got six of fire right under thriving. It says victory. Good news is on its way. Public recognition or reward. So I want to give a round of applause to my people who have been stepping out of your comfort zone. And that can be, but that doesn't even have to be in big, like huge noticeable ways. It could be in your personal life. If you, okay, maybe some of you watching this, I feel like you recently greeted someone that you had a crush on. Or there was someone that you were scared to talk to and you stepped out of your comfort zone and you talked to that person. I want to say congratulations because you're getting a reward for that. You're getting recognized for that. Spirit is giving you a shout out for that. Or for my people that have been doing an excellent job in your work, in your career. This can be working for someone or working for yourself. If you've been working on new things, trying new things, stepping out of your comfort zone, um really pushing your limits here you're thriving you're thriving i saw something um lay which is one of our members in the server he posted something on his story about on his instagram story about the limits that we have are just created in your mind and that is so 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 true so i feel like for those of you that are really thriving at this moment the sun is coming out for you you're finding success you're finding victories you will be rewarded for your hard work and effort you will get what you worked for, what you've earned, what you deserve. And, you know, this is the coming from a place of ego because the thriving card is in, is like this desert, this, this dry ass desert. Okay. It took a while for, uh, it's, it's lacking, it's lacking emotion. It, it's lacking like, it's just like the very start. Like it's a little dry. Okay. Maybe things were a little dry starting off, but now, ooh, now guys, and I'm going to take a picture because like, you know, I'm going to take a picture right now because I'm going to set it in the chat because this is just beautiful. Like, you guys have to see this. Right under the thriving card is like this beautiful forest. You're blossoming. Like, things are blossoming for you. Like, opportunities are blossoming for you. I, I almost felt like you've been keeping a secret. Are you working on something that you're keeping a secret and you're not telling anyone? Because I feel like someone here is like working on something really like juicy for the collective and they're not telling anyone about it. And it's gonna be like a bigger success than you think it's gonna be and i'm very excited for you okay so the cards i sent are loading okay whatever you're doing like it's gonna pop off it's gonna pop off and i know we have a few creators here so if that's resonating with you if you feel that if you resonate with that message that is definitely for you and this is also just some advice and guidance for my people who are thinking about reaching out to that person that that crush or or, or this 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 person that you work with and you want to be their friend talk talk to them make the first move it will go successfully like way better than you imagined let me read the comments really quick <laughs> robbie said girl i would go talk to him about talk to his astral cells tell them pull up <laughs> tell your mans to pull up in the astral <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to pull from my self-care oracle. Let's see if I get any more messages from these cards here. Either way, like, the, okay, there's a heart chakra expansion happening. I did record a 
light language heart activation from the cosmic mother that i did like two days ago i still have to edit it but guys I have to tell you, when I was doing that light language, I was getting goosebumps. Because whenever I do light language, it's not me. It's being channeled through me. And I completely get permission to spirit and the divine to, to use my vessel to channel through me. Like, I completely have to surrender my ego to that process. And I wanted them to know, for real, like, if you guys were to jump in my body and completely possess me, I'll be fine with that. Because I know that's about to be some healing codes for me. So that is going to be really helpful for you guys. And my intention for that light language was also to provide some nurturing energy for you guys. Because I know that a lot of people have mother wounds. They weren't getting the the nurturing energy that, you know, the mother offers. And this isn't ge um, gender per uh, specific. You can also be a masculine, you can be a man and still have nurturing energy. And that is normal. I think everyone has divine feminine and divine masculine within them. So I really hope that I will, I will let you guys know. I'll post it in the, um, in the server somewhere, or if you, if you have me on my YouTube, that'll be uploaded, um, tomorrow. So yeah, I really think that's going to be healing for you. That was really healing for me. It's going to be hard chakra activating um there's also something i'm hearing a lot about is the higher heart chakra your higher heart chakra is like in between your throat chakra and your heart chakra and i'm seeing it as like a greenish bluish color and it's like the space where you really connect with your higher self your your guide from a higher place of love and it's so beautiful and it's so expansive and as you guys are moving through that purging of like past emotions and repro like unprocessed emotions. You're going to be thriving more. You're really going to see your energy free up. And I I'm almost saying like some of you, maybe this happened to you recently. You're crying tears of joy. Like when you take a moment to think about that past situation that you overcame, it's not there anymore. It's not there anymore. The only place where it really exists is inside of you where you, you might still need to release that. But even then, you already came so far. So be proud of yourself. And then after that, you guys are going to be like ready for liftoff. Like I'm really saying some of you are ready to fly. You're like, all right, Spirit, I'm good. I'm good to go. Show me what else I need to do. Show me what I need to work on. I'm ready to fly. Like literally, if you look on the change card that I posted in the chat, if you scroll up a little bit, you can see the um the little horsey <laughs> with the hot air balloon on it. And then illumination. Like, guys, do you know when you like look outside? They give me these visions and these like um like metaphors and stuff. Do you know like when you look outside and it's like really cloudy at night? And then all of a sudden, like the clouds move away, and then you start seeing like the stars peek through like you start to see like little stars peek through the clouds and it's just like wow like it's so magical and i feel like that's what's happening to the collective here <laughs> what are y'all talking about okay so like you guys are going to be okay if you see that if that is a sign that you see like let's say tonight you go stargazing or if it's already nighttime where you live and it's like cloudy and then you see the clouds move and then the stars peek through that's a little nation there's going to be like little sparks of light popping up in all areas of your life. And this is because you've done the inner work. You've done the work and now you're ready for the rewards. And I feel like you're really coming out of this. For some of you, you're coming out of this like darker period where you've been doing a lot of inner work. You've been doing a lot of building, a lot of planning. And we're still kind of in that period because it is winter time. But you can still bloom. You can definitely still bloom in the winter time. Like I saw a couple of flowers, um, dandelions blooming through the ground, and like it's still possible to bloom no matter what time of the year it is. So do not let that limit. But overall, like expect to see your blessings pop up. Ex expect to see progress really quick. That as you release more of these heavier energies, you're gonna be more free. You're gonna be more open to take on new projects. To communicate with people that make you feel loved and really look at those those hidden blockages that you might have like if you're not really communicating with people that are a higher vibration and that make you feel loved kind of ask yourself why you're not replying to them because i know a lot of times we might give a little it's not excuses like sometimes you really are busy and you really don't have the energy 
But let's say you have the time and the energy to do it and they kind of pop up in your head and you don't do it. Kind of ask yourself, like, what are you running from? Like, what are you avoiding with that? Or let's say you have some free time and you have the energy and you have um this thought, like, hmm, maybe I should create this video and you just don't do it. Okay, just don't judge yourself. Ask yourself why you might be not working on that, why you might be avoiding that. Because there's something you need to kind of look at right there. Yes. Chloe said, healing so much shadow. That's right. Hypno said, I've healed so much. I don't even know who's looking back at me in the mirror from last year. Beautiful. Thank you guys for sharing everything. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to shuffle for my self-care oracle deck and let's see the... <laughs> okay. This is a cute one. Okay. The ancestors, they connect with them. Your ancestors want to connect with you. And not only am I getting ancestors from your bloodline, you know, this is your cosmic ancestors. So I'm actually going to read from my booklet for this card. And I will take a picture for you guys for this too as well. Number 14. So you could be seeing number 14 a lot. If you see 14 or variations of that, that's a sign from your your cosmic ancestors or your earth ancestors to connect with them. The mantra for this card says, as I heal my wounds, I heal my lineage and bring peace that verberates and infinitely throughout time and space. So I'm actually going to take a picture real quick and post it in the chat for you guys to like meditate on. Ooh, you're seeing 14 right now. This is for you. Your ancestors are coming through, girl. All right. So I sent it in the chat and I will post in the replay video as well for you guys that are watching this back so you will see that and i'm gonna go ahead and send the second card you got alone time so the connect with your ancestor says through understanding our history we gain a deeper sense of appreciation for all the time and people it took to bring us into this world connecting with our ancestors is one way to better understand ourselves our patterns and the patterns present within our lineage it allows us to make peace with all that has happened before it also provides motivation to evolve and find new and better ways to live. Building this bridge is something that you can do by researching and connecting the dots between your family stories, DNA analysis, and traditional archives. You can also learn about your family line in more intuitive ways like meditating, dream work, and working with a past life regression specialist or someone who specializes in reading the Akashic Records. Okay, so I know Cash is reading, so if you guys are reading for that, hit Cash up. He's really freaking good. So it said, um, a metaphysical archive of everything that has ever happened within the universe, including all your past lifetimes and those that will come into the future. No problem. I got you. Call on your ancestors and tap into centuries of wisdom, protection, and guidance. I felt the power in that protection. Ooh, okay. As you look back and connect with your forebears, your path forward will become more evident. A general prompt would be what patterns or trends exist in your family line, especially among the women? Do these patterns appear in your life? So that was beautiful. Like your ancestors, like we don't even, I mean, unless you do know for real, for real, a lot of times we don't know how many ancestors we have. There are ones you don't know about who they know about you. They know about you. They love you. You're like, you're like their special child that they're protecting and they're holding and they're guiding. And I, I really feel my ancestors with me now. Like, I love them so much. And I know they love me so much. And let me tell you, they are fighting in the spiritual realm for you. There have been attacks that have been sent your way that never touched you, that never reached you because they got it handled. They are saying, I handled it. I, I'm handling it. They say, baby, we got you. You don't need to worry. I'm really here. <laughs> like they're, they're saying, we got you. Don't worry. Do your thing. Do your thing. They say, do your thing. They got you. Yes. Do it. They do it, guys. Like, don't let nothing hold you back. They got you. And I'm particularly very close with my African-American ancestors. I love them so much. They're so funny. I'll, like, sometimes I'll, um, a little offering for, you can do offerings for your guys, guys. Like, if you feel called to set up an altar, that card did not come out. But you can set up a little space, a sacred area space, an altar, 
uh, with intuitively guided items or items that you think your ancestors will like. I know some of them like alcohol or tobacco. You can either either leave some feathers and crystals and just let that section be an area that you pray at and dedicate to them. And this doesn't even have to be earth ancestors. This can be um your cosmic ancestors, you know. You can, whatever that looks like to you that makes you connect with them, you can do that. But for me, I'll turn on like some like African beats music and I'll just be dancing. I'll just be dancing. Like, and that's a great way for your memories to like, I was getting some memories come back to me because I was like, I lit up a candle and I was like dancing in like the bathroom, <laughs> like the mirrors in there. Ooh, some peach crown. Z said I gave him some peach crown. I, kn I knew they loved that. <laughs> and you can get memories that will come through. And I really think there's this one tribe that I was part of where I was like a dancer, like a performer, and I'm not sure which one, but it is connected to my African roots somewhere. And I knew they loved that. So do that, guys. They want to see you shine. Okay, so now I'm going to read from number two, Alone Time. The mantra for this card says, I make time to focus on myself. And this really, really resonates with these two videos that I uploaded on my youtube i forgot what they were titled but they're part of my indigo insights episodes so you can look at my like most two recent videos where i'm outside like the longer ones and then one of them was talking about spending like time alone and focusing on yourself and then the most recent one i posted today is about like family line um and it's like family childhood stuff and i think there's a lot of messages in there for you guys and i i definitely open up and i share some of my story because my story is like pretty interesting but mostly it's for the collective it says joyously explore your alone time think about what you would like to do in solitude then plan so your time is freed up and your commitments are put on pause find peace and stillness by completely tuning in to your own needs you can keep it simple and plan something like a quiet night at home to journal and be introspective. Go for a walk, work on a creative project, meditate, or try any solo activity that feels restorative for you. Be sure to communicate to your loved ones how important this is for you. Make them aware of how it allows you to show up more fully in daily life. That way they can support you by respecting the time you need to be alone without interruption. All right, so there's a message coming through. I'm going to read the journal prompt really quick, but I'm already getting a little messy. It says, for the journal prompt, how does having alone time make you feel? What emotions and memories come up for you? Excuse me, guys, like, I'm getting a little sick. It says, what emotions and memories come up for you when you're alone? I feel like some of you guys have, like, a sibling. All right, this could be from personal experience. Oh, uh, Robbie said, I think about my worms and cry. Oh, you know they're always with you right i have a grandma on my mom's side and she can talk for hours like this lady can talk for hours and i she knows she does talk a lot and i have to kind of tell her like okay i have to go now like I, now she respects it but you know i know she just loves me and she wants to talk to me and she misses me and stuff like that or like i have a sibling right i have this younger brother and I love spending time with my family. Like, dude, don't get me wrong. But sometimes they just sometimes pick, like, the worst times. He likes to play video games. And he'll be like, Alina, look at this. Look, are you looking? Like, if I don't look at it, he will replay it and make me look at it. And that, it makes me happy. Like, I love when he does that because it's like a moment we're connecting and stuff like that. But sometimes I'm like, all right, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Like, you know, you're just playing some Fortnite or whatever he's playing, you know, or... I don't know. He likes really like animated gory games. I'm like, Alan, why are you playing that? But you know, he's a little warrior. He has no idea. Yeah, so much knowledge. And the let me tell you, the grandmas can spill the tea on the family too. I know that mine, mine do. They definitely be telling me because they've been around. They've been around. So, so yeah, guys, making sure that you're taking this time out for some alone time. And in this card, she's like standing on a rock. So grounding outside in nature would be really good for you at this time and look if you scroll up <laughs> not the grandma not the grandma me if you guys like scroll up and look at the alone time card there's like a full moon above her head it looks like it could be a sun or full moon i don't know whichever but around this full moon making sure 
It's on the 24th. Just to remind you, spend some time to connect with your ancestors under the stars, light some candles, say a prayer, play some nice music, whatever you're guided to do. This is a perfect, perfect time. There's th There was definitely some portal that opened or that was opened a few days ago. So you guys know how there's like um like a ring around the moon sometimes and sometimes it's around the sun. I forgot what it's called like a moon halo. That's like low key like a portal. Like it's such magical cosmic energy. And there were like artificial clouds in the sky. Look, I'm in tune with nature. I've always been I know when when stuff isn't right in the sky. And whatever whatever week weak chemicals they put in the sky didn't even work because the moon was shining through those clouds and you know it was so beautiful even though there were clouds in the sky there was like a, a few openings in the clouds where i could see the stars and i was like this could seem pointless to like people who don't really care about this stuff but those of you who are watching the replay and in here now you know what i'm talking about especially when you're connected to the stars in the sky like like the whole cloud could be covered in clouds. I mean, the whole sky can be covered in clouds. And then you see those little openings where you can see like stars just shining and, and sparkling. Yeah, they're like, we see you, we're here for you. It's like, it's like a little gift. It's like beautiful. <laughs> I know. We look, yeah, it slipped a little bit. So I'm going to give pull one more card and then people can unmute and then we can just like really chat and talk. Um, Whatever you guys want to do. So Spirit, can I have one more message for the collective <clears throat> and i'm gonna read from the booklet for this card too these cards are so pretty like i'm telling you this deck is gorgeous i'm gonna take a picture of the cards it says stillness and flow this is so aligned with this full moon like you don't even know like like how excited this makes me and then i'm gonna show the flow and then i'm gonna read really quick from the booklet and then we can have a discussion okay thanks for joining everyone who's leaving i love you guys so much i really appreciate you oh i love that angel angel said i was just journaling about being still and in a flow state before this i love that so let's see what stillness says it says take a step back from a project situation or relationship even if it's just for a few moments bend bridges slow down and breathe be still go within Listen to your inner voice. Take time to connect with your spirit guides, ancestors. These are repeating messages. And spiritual guardians. Listen to your higher self. Timing is everything. This is not a good time to start a new cycle. Wait. Incubate. Fix things that need fixing. Heal things that need healing. Think things through. Forgive yourself and others. Literally, the forgiveness card came out. The connecting with your ancestors card came out. The spend alone time came card came out. Like this is just repeating messages. <clears throat> if things seem barren or even bleak, hold on. Just as the migrating birds find new life in the tundra marshes in the summer, you too will expand once again during the coming thaw in your life. Robbie said, I got a card flow today on a reading at Insta. Yes, it's definitely in the collective here. So now I'm going to read a card flow. And if you want to look in the chat, I did post the cards in the chat, but I will post on the video for the replay it says there are times to hold on tight to the shore and there are times to enter the flow knows where life is going and move in that direction watch for signs and follow them don't resist when you go with the flow your life force expands and healing on all levels abound this is also a time to release old limiting patterns forgive and let go of the need to be right about your beliefs if you aren't feeling the smooth currents of life it might mean that you are being self-critical or judgmental when you enter the flow with gratitude and love you will find blessings surround you you will enter into a state of grace and healing will abound so that was the message thank you so much guys for being here i'm not going to end the call just the recording but i really appreciate you guys and Angel said you should do more calls like this. I love it. I 100% will. I will try to make this at least a monthly or bi-weekly thing, like I said in my event description. So feel free to leave a comment on the video, guys, if you're watching the replay and, you know, like the video. I will get Annie to post this on the, the server's YouTube channel. But I love you guys and thank you so much for watching.